Mr. Pritam Singh. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Minister, with close to $1 billion of government funding for SMT committed over the next five years, how will the government assure Singaporeans that SMT's content will not be tainted by allegations of political interference? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, firstly, the government has committed to set aside up to $180 million annually over the next five years. And I want to emphasize it's up to $180 million. What is actually going to be dispersed will depend on the specific investments that SMT makes, whether through their progress updates to, this, to the MCI, we are satisfied that these are the right things to do and that they will produce, or they have the likelihood of producing good results. So it is up to 180 million and put annually, and therefore up to 900 million um, over five years. I'm actually not so surprised that Mr. Singh put this question up. And if I may, Mr. Singh's question, again asking about influence on editors, journalists, is too predictable, if I may put it this way. His question seems to suggest that he does not trust the journalists and our mainstream media to be objective in reporting, to apply their minds and to be discerning, or to have a sense of responsibility to truthful reporting for the public. I hope I'm wrong in thinking that this is what uh, Mr. Singh is suggesting, but that's what came to mind when he spoke those words. Now, regardless of what I say, or what Mr. Singh may suggest, the true test is whether the public trusts the media and how they exercise their choice on a day-to-day -day basis in consuming news media when so many alternatives are available to them at zero cost. And fortunately for us, for all of us, our local mainstream media are trusted by people, and we have every reason to keep it so.